So Forrest and I have known each other for about 10 years and um, uh, we just reconnected recently. And so Forrest, why don't you tell us about how you got involved in real estate investing and about your company, just your journey to where you are today? I'll try to do the short version because as you know, being in real estate for yeah. as long as we have been, there's there's lots of twists and turns and mm -hmm. bad days and good days. But um, out of college, I didn't really do much real estate classes in college, but I did take a mortgage class and I, I, and I knew that that the way mortgages worked, if you had consumer debt, it would really hurt your ability to get a, a real estate mortgage. So, and I wanted a new truck coming out of college, you know, I had a job, how, like I needed to be cool. I needed a new truck, <laughs> but if I got a new truck, I was never going to be able to buy a piece of real estate. So literally the week between college and starting my job, I had 10, um, 10 days. I found a house in Santa Rosa, California, where I had my corporate job lined up and put it in contract. But the only thing I could afford, because I was making $39,000, um, was a two bedroom, one bath, completely destroyed house that the lady had lived in for 40 or 50 years and was a chain smoker. And there was nicotine running down the walls. Like you could oh, see yeah. it just like on the walls. Um, but I could afford it. So I, I was fortunate coming out of college. I had a little bit of savings. I had done some stock trading and it worked uh, jobs during college. So I'd like, Ten thousand dollars saved up or something, and that was enough for the down payment. The problem is, once you put all your money into buying the house, you don't have any money to fix the house. Right. So I was working the corporate job, you know, fifty, sometimes sixty hours a week, and then I'd go at nights and weekends and scrub the walls with uh, TSP. And then uh, I didn't know anything about construction. I, I mean, I knew literally nothing, but I learned a lot on that project, and it was so painful. Like when you don't know anything, and you're just and you're learning, and you have to like acknowledge every single day that you don't know what you're doing it's really hard on your pride especially when you're 22 years old um but i got it done and the property came with a lot that was next door so i sold the property basically broke even but got this lot free and clear i had to go through the historic some historic district approval which took forever and was extraordinarily painful and i got a house approved had a contractor build the house sold the house bought two houses doing all this while I had the corporate job. And a couple of years into it, I was like, you know what? It's not as painful as it was because I know what I'm doing a little bit now. And I just made more in my corporate job, or I mean, in real estate working, you know, 30 hours a week than in my corporate job working 60 hours a week. Why don't I do this full time? So that was 2002, I guess. And I've been a full-time real estate investor ever since. Um, between 2002 and call it 2006, a lot of growth, mostly through partnerships. I had my money, other people would have their money. We'd partner and do infill development. We did condo, um, office condos, uh, conversions, retail redevelopment, different things like that. And then 2008 came. Uh, at that time, I had property in California and Omaha, Nebraska. And California property just completely imploded. You were in Reno, so I think you, you saw a lot of that too. And um, I was insolvent for, for many years and uh, ended up renting a basement bedroom. No, no carpet, just concrete, a uh, bed, and I had a microwave. But I did have internet because I could get it from upstairs. So I at least had that going for me. Um, you know, coming out of that, it's like, we're, I am not going to do that again. We were doing a lot of our debt was, you know, two or three years balloon debt that was constantly rolling because these were redevelopment loans. And yeah. so, and my compensation in many cases was based on milestones around completion of the projects. So we had projects like one big uh, office conversion we were doing, office condo conversion. We were taking it from fee simple to, to office con uh, condos. We sold the first condo right when everything started to, to tank. But my compensation was based on like the last condo or the last two condos, and we never got there. So I didn't make a penny on that project that I'd worked on for, for you know, three years, four years. And so coming out, it's like, we're not doing that anymore. There's, there's no way that 
I want to run out of money partway through a project because my partners, you know, get a capital call on something that has nothing to do with me, which happened. Um, I don't want the banks to be able to say, yeah, it's a great project, but the Fed will not let us refinance. Sorry. I don't know if you guys remember, but early in the, the kind of 2008 process, they were not extending and pretending. They were being super strict. It was only later that they started to allow that. Well, for us, it was too late. Like we already yeah. did all sorts of horse trading. You know, hey, bank, I know we owe you this. We can't sell the property. It's half completed or it's completed, just not leased up. I'll give you these three properties as well. And, you know, here's a deed in lieu. And it was it was brutal, <laughs> really brutal. But coming out of it, we said we're going to do it differently. Um, Altus Equity got started with a partner and we, we wanted our money committed up front. We wanted it in the bank. And so we went to more of a um, investor sponsor model as opposed to a true kind of a JV model that we were doing before. And we've done a lot of different product. We've done uh, bulk multifamily, we've done retail, we've done some office, generally speaking, even before the last kind of three, you know, post COVID office is not a big fan, or I'm sorry, not a big favorite of ours uh, for various reasons we can get into if you'd like, but we've done industrial, done multifamily, done some hospitality, a little bit of land, even some ag 